Hi everybody and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Tunes from the Shop with Skip. Now I've had a few people ask me recently, Skip, it seems like you've been doing these things forever. Thank you very much. We're addicted to them. Um, it's a wonderful thing you're doing and other such lovely compliments. How many of these have you done? Well, I just counted. I was kind of curious myself. Today will be the 102nd consecutive day of posting a video. There you go. <laughs> so, um, also I'll, I'll get, say this little announcement now. What I've been working on for the last few weeks is putting together a Skip Healy YouTube page. So all of these videos are gonna get bounced over onto that. The new uploads eventually will be uh, coming on that. There'll be sections for uh, my method for learning traditional Irish flute, American fife, tin whistle, uh, uh, frequently asked questions about instruments, about the music. I'll be posting regularly music videos like these. Uh, so it'll be a whole bunch of content in one place. And if you would like to show uh, your, your thanks and undying love of these videos, um, please become a subscriber. Um, I'll let you know when it's going to go live. It won't be a surprise. Uh, there'll certainly be somewhat of a buildup, but just to let you know, it is getting very close at this point. So, yesterday, one of the in one of the comments was from my buddy Phil back in Rhode Island, and he asked me about. Uh, he told me he tried learning a tune I was playing one time that he heard on the advertisements for the Boston Harbor cruises. Uh, I did the music for their commercials of I don't know 10, 15, whatever years ago. Uh, the tune that I played was composed by my old buddy Roy Watrous. So today I'm going to play that tune and the one that I recorded it with. I recorded these two tunes on my Purgatory Chasm CD. Uh, two of my favorite tunes from Roy Watrous, especially the first one. First tune is called The Eel Pot. Uh, the Eel Pot was a, well, it's a pot for catching eels, a trap for catching eels, of course. But uh, it was also this uh, wonderfully divey, dark, old, nasty bar in Bradford, Connecticut that members of the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps were known to uh, frequent on occasion. Uh, the second is a jig that he wrote called Ike Bradley's Drum. Uh, there were apparently two or three drumming Bradley brothers in the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps once upon a time, and this tune written in honor of Brother Ike. So, the eel pot and Ike Bradley's drum.
So there you go for our Tuesday set of tunes. A couple of golden oldies from the great Roy Watrous, the Eel Pot, and Ike Bradley's Drum. Hope you enjoyed those tunes. Uh, <clears throat> I see in the news that I am constantly scanning from uh, my home country, the United States, that uh, infection rates are going up in a lot of places and a uh, whole lot of nastiness is going on. So please, everybody, remember, not out of the woods yet. Be safe, as safe as you can be. I know people are going back to work and going out and getting back to life, but uh, please remember, maintain your social distancing whenever possible. Be careful about what large public events you go into. Protect yourself when you go there. This thing does not care who it infects. It doesn't care, okay? Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for another set of tunes from the shop. Cheers.